Hi, uh, Wayne White here, uh, ready to do another watercolor. This time, this time I'm going to paint a duck. Um, I'm not sure whether it's a, a male duck or a female duck. I, I, I don't know how you tell. But this was a duck that I spotted at Heather Farm Park one day and snapped a picture. He very politely saved a, a pose for me while I took the picture. So, as you can see, it's, it's a, what we call a, 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 por a portrait format, it's, which means that it's, I'm going vertically, not horizontally, because uh, this, this duck has a, a long neck, so I want, I need more paper. So the first thing, first thing I'm going to do is wet, wet the back of it. With the back of it, so that when I apply paint to, to the front, it, it won't wrinkle on me. A bluish gray color. Just put a just put a wash on there now. And the yellow ochre. Add some burnt sienna to it. Yeah. You know, I got the, the first washes down for the, the the water and the ground. And now the now I'm trying to look to model the ground so it it, it looks like the uh, duck is walking on it. If you've ever paint, painted a duck, you got. Get them to stand still. What I'm doing now, I'm, I'm, I'm putting some, I'm putting some white paint on the ground here. I, I'm exaggerating the, the ripples in the water, so it, it'll read more like water. Feels like I've known you my whole life Been nothing more than friends this whole time Summertime skipping rocks so innocent I haven't, haven't uh, gotten, gotten to the duck yet. That's gonna take, uh, that's gonna take a little work, but I've got the, the background about 90% done. And, uh, and at stage two, I'll start on the duck when Kevin's ready. Uh, and if, if, you, if you ever want to paint a duck yourself on your own, I suggest you work from a photograph because they, they don't stay still very long. See you next time.